Hola Divas, it's Kanitha the Diva, your YouTube video vixen. And today I am going to be trimming my ends because it's a new year, so we need new ends. Um, once a year I try to make sure I give myself a good trim. As you guys know, this past year I started out saying I want my hair healthy and long. I want it long this year. And really to tell you the truth, I ended up cutting off all the stuff that was um, going wrong with my hair before so but overall I'm still happy with my hair because it's so much healthier you know maybe this next year we'll see if I retain more length or not because you guys know that I've been using my split ender um, since October every month um, just to get rid of so much just bad dead ends all that um, old colored hair um, hair that was looked so bad because I was sick um, as you guys know, I have ulcerative colitis, and you know, before I got treatment, I really wasn't doing well um, with my hair, which had a lot to do with my being sick. So anyway, let's get started. First thing I want to tell you guys about is um, make sure that if you're going to be doing haircuts and trims at home, get a good pair of shears. This is Logo by Cricut, and these are haircutting shears. You can get them from Sally's love them don't use them for anything other than hair don't use them on paper or anything like that i think that's kind of a given but just to be on the safe side um i also have these right here these are my cute single leopard print shears um these were only ten dollars by conair i am not a fan of these um however sorry because these were fifty dollars i didn't i don't remember if i told you guys these were like 50 55 um I'm not really a fan of these, but if you are going to cut your hair, at least go with the $10 shears versus grabbing something from some barber kit, you know, your brother's barber kit or something. Those things aren't meant to cut your hair for, okay? Um, so, with that said, let's just get started. Um, this is not a professional haircut by any means. It is just simply a way of getting rid of last year's dead ends so i'm just going to oh sorry i was going to show you guys where my hair length is now that's why i have this t-shirt on um this is my hair lisa hair length check shirt i think i was around probably like the four inch mark i don't know i'd have to look back at photos or still caps but we're probably going to take about an inch off I don't know yet we'll see um when I do this I actually do this by touch which sorry I just got a mini rubber band and I'm tying my hair in a ponytail when I do this I normally do this by touch because that to me is one way I can really tell which ends are dead and um you know because they don't feel the same as the rest and if I do this by touch too as well, it kind of doesn't allow me to go, oh, I don't want to take that much or whatever like that. So I like this because this is basically me doing it blindfolded. So let's move our fingers down our hair to find. See, I've been doing a lot of trimming, so my ends actually feel pretty good. So I'm going to go to where they start to not feel as thick. See so like right here, I'm going to tighten my rubber band over a couple more times. And just right there where it starts to feel like it's probably going to fall because right there, the hair's thinner. I felt it slip kind of on its own. I'm going to pinch. I 
fold it up and cut just above the ponytail. And there you have it. So about a little over an inch. It's the same way I did it last year. Um, I'm not that concerned if it's excessively even. It's whatever. Um, I mostly wear uh, wigs and weaves right now. Anyway, I do a lot of protective styling, so my hair is not really down. Um, if it really bothers me, like if I start wearing my hair down more for the spring or whatever, then I will probably try and go have uh, my mom eat it out for me. But she's a little scissor happy, which is the whole reason why I do this way. But now you can see where my hair length is now. And there you have it. So I typically like to have my hair parted like this. Um, but also in doing my hair this way too, I feel like um, it's helping my shorter front hairs kind of catch up a little bit with the back and just get the really bad ends out um, even so. And from I just had a fresh relaxer. Um, so I will have to be giving you guys a relaxer update, but, um, yeah, this is what I've been doing. I like it. I figure every new year, if I do this, that's kind of a way to get rid of my old ends and I'm going to continue this year. The plan is to continue my trims, but, um, only using the split end or right after every, uh, relaxer. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, for those of you who don't know, split ender should take about a quarter of an inch off, uh, all over. It's like a search and destroy without taking all the time to search and destroy. <laughs> so that's my plans. Um, new year, new ends, and hope you all, this was helpful for anyone who is kind of tossed up, should I cut my hair, should I not, should I not? I say for the new year, go ahead and do it, especially when you're just starting your hair journey. Get, get your hair journey going. I mean, I was really upset the first time I did it, and maybe I should show you guys a few pictures. <laughs> But um, I was really upset because my hair was so stringy and looking so bad. And it's like, I don't know what I want to do. But I didn't want to give up the little bit of length I had. And I did it and I was happy about it. And you guys see now I'm not as afraid of the scissors. Um, and yeah, I prefer to retain healthy length than just stringy length. But you know, to each his own. Hopefully this helps anybody out there starting their hair journey. Um, if you don't want to do it my way, just overall just showing you if somebody else is doing it too, go get rid of the bad ends. It's worth it, okay? So new year, new ends. Hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.